Tell me about the journey of a female comic and why should people go see it when it opens on May 2nd? Well, first of all, it's one of the few comedies out there, especially for Latinos. We don't get too many comedies. So um, it's going to entertain you. It's going to inspire you. It's going to make you want to take your dreams into your own hands. Emotionally, how did the production affect each of you? The, the production was uh, very time consuming, incredibly grueling, very financially crippling. <laughs> But um, I feel like, you know, it was worth it. It was worth all the ups and downs. I had to borrow from everybody I've ever met in my life. <laughs> I had to sell all my jewelry. My husband hid my diamond ring so I wouldn't sell this one either. For two months he hid it so that I wouldn't sell it to make the movie. Um, so it was, that's, it was a big challenge, but I'm really proud of it now. Well, it, it's a roller coaster when you're making a movie, you know, you, you hope that you're going to finish a movie, it's going to be good, but until you finally see it, you never know. So when we screened in New York, that was a big time for us because we saw the audience reacting to it. And not only Latinos, but like, you know, Asians and, and, and white people and African Americans. So everybody loved the movie. It was very inspirational. What have been some of the best comments you've received? One of them, um, I love the comments that this was the funniest movie they had ever seen. It was uh, a lady, a white lady, you know? And then she said to me, it's like Curb Your Enthusiasm. And I'm like, really? We made Curb Your Enthusiasm? And I love that she didn't say the Latino version or the female version. She just said, just it's compare, like Curb straight, Your yeah. Enthusiasm. So that was my favorite comment so far. And then also the fact that it wasn't just a Latino story, but that it was a female empowerment and American dream story. And those were my two favorite comments so far. Tell me about the support you received from the actors. Well, um, all the actors that actually ended up in the film were people that I always admired. And I had a 100% response. The, everyone I asked was part of it. Even Isai, who yelled at me, what do you mean? I'm not a plane. I'm not going to, to do this, blah, blah, blah. And then the next thing I knew, when I was already filming other people at the location, he's like, OK, what's the address? I'm on your street. <laughs> And that, that was so awesome because I didn't, I really, that was the biggest surprise because I didn't think he was going to make it um, and due to his work schedule. And it was just so heartwarming when he like just showed up, like he was on my street ready to go, you know. What has making this film taught you? This movie proves that the American dream is still alive. So we started this thinking that we're going to go to festivals and maybe like, oh, a TV station is going to buy. And all of a sudden, it's like AMC Independent buys the movie. And all of a sudden, a little movie is going to be screened at, you know, the main theaters in L.A. So that in itself, it's kind of like for us a confirmation that, yeah, the American dream is still alive. And if you pursue and it, we, you can we, achieve we it. we had clearance to do mm -hmm. the whole country. Mm -hmm. We were the ones as producers that decided to keep it in California. Limited and release then, first. you know, mm -hmm. work work it and see how the people respond. But we could have been all over the country if we would have wanted to. Go see the movie. You're going to love it. Your kids are going to love it. They're going to be inspired. So you got to be there on May 2nd because that's when it counts. That's when we need you. May 2nd, 3rd, 4th, you got to be at AMC Theaters and support the journey of a female comic for the future of all of us. Thank you.